Breaking news, Morik sends a strong message to former President Olusegun Obasanjo, you must drop Akinwumi Adeshina for 2023 race. Hello, my wonderful people, it's happening. Olusegun Obasanjo is now the new soft target. Don't forget that um, this Islamic uh, scholar who resides in Lagos has been clamoring that uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, according to him, a Muslim takes over to become Nigerian's president. Um, not too long ago, recently, not up to a month, Olushe Gwabasanjo, you know, has, uh, like we reported to you, is going round, I mean, up to the international scene to, you know, uh, ask that uh, Akin Wumi be supported both internationally to become Nigerian's president. And Morik now, they are rising up to say, no, it cannot happen. Obasanjo must not support this guy. Obasanjo did not support uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He feels Nigerian political settings need a fresh perspective altogether. Now, uh, you know, Obasanjo is now the new targets please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time god bless you let's get all the details marik sends a strong warning to former president olushegun obasanjo you must drop a king with me additional for 2023 presidency the muslim right concern Morik has told former President Olusegun Obasanjo to drop the current president of the African Development Bank, ADB, Dr. Akinwumi Adeshino, from the 20 presidential 20 2023 race. Professor Isiak Akintola, director of Morik, stated this in a statement sent to Prime News on Tuesday. Akinwumi is not who we want. Akintola said Obasanjo must withdraw his support for Akinwumi Adeshino because he is a Yoruba Christian. We want a Yoruba to take over from President Muhammad Buhari. However, he has to be a Yoruba Muslim. Akinwumi is a Yoruba Christian, so that makes him out of the race. According to Akintola, Reports have revealed that Obasanjo is trying to draft the current president of African Development Bank into the 2023 presidential race. He noted that the next Yoruba presidential ticket must go to a Yoruba Muslim in the name of fairness, justice, and equality. Akin Tola said he based his stand on the fact that three Yoruba Christians have occupied the Aso Rock and no single Yoruba Muslim has held the position of president or vice president since independence. According to Akin Tola, ex-president Olushe Sanjo is reportedly making attempts to draft the current president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akin Wumi, additional into the 2023 presidential race. We must object to this move. Obasanjo wants all the effort put in place by Nigerian governments to go to Dr. Akin Wumi Adeshino to the continuous position of him remaining in office. We cannot have this. We remind the former president that as a Yoruba Christian, he has led Nigeria twice. He spent three years and 258 days as a military head of state, 1976 to 1979, and another eight years as a civilian president, 1999 to 2007. Two other Yoruba Christians have occupied Aso Rock, Chief Ernest Adegonla, and also the interior head of state from, two, from, from 26th August 1993 to 17th November 1993. The current vice president, Professor Yemio Sibanjo, is also a Christian. Obasanjo attempts to drag Akin, Akin Wumi Adeshino, who is also a Yoruba Christian, into the presidential race, negates the principle of fairness, justice, and equality. It is an attempt to rob Yoruba Muslims of the presidential slot, and it violates the code of principles of democracy, namely inclusiveness. It is an open secret that Yoruba Muslims, who form the majority of the population of the Southwest, are being denied 
their Allah given fund fundamental human right. This has led to complications and court cases incited by Muslims across Yoruba land over political and religious persecution. Yoruba Muslims are at the receiving end at the deprivation of civil liberation. It is a con it is a continuous cry that another Yoruba Christian presidency will usher another opportunity for Christian to continue to marginalize, stigmatize, and per and persecute Yoruba Muslims in this country. Let Obasanjo tell us how many Yoruba Muslims have been ministers in his administration. Even in Kwara State, which is also a predominantly Muslim territory, Obasanjo picked two Christians as ministers, C.O. Ade Dayo and Funke Doi, but he could not extend his luxury to Yoruba Muslims in the Southwest. Morik rejects his ground designed to keep Muslims in Yoruba land perpetually in bondage. There are many Yoruba Muslims who are, ev who are equally qualified for the post of president. We also believe that the interest of Yoruba people will be best served if we channel the grievances towards ensuring that the Yoruba man and merge as the president instead of pushing for the separation agenda or leading to destruction of Nigeria. We advise ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo to relax his grip on Nigerian judiciary system and the government. He should stop pushing Yoruba Muslims to the background. Christians are not the only human being in Yoruba land. Fair sharing spread goodwill. Monopoly is not a guarantee for fairness. It brings about ill feeling. Ill feeling. There is no true democracy where there is no inclusiveness. The political party does not mean does not mean well for Muslims. What is important is that the next Yoruba presidential ticket must go to a Yoruba Muslim in the relations of fairness, justice, and equality. My people, the race is on. The battle is tough and the stiff and it's very stiff and you can see for yourself. The stench of Wanting this grass of presidency is already is already all over the air. As Olusha Gwabasanjo a few weeks ago uh, nominated his interest for who he will support in the race for the presidency in 2023. This has rather caused a serious controversy. As you can hear, as you can see, this is already stirring a lot of controversies in the air. God will help us. We would like to hear from you as the matter unfolds. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. What will it be as the matter unfolds day by day? God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.